Hi everyone, today we are going to swatch some new inks. Now these inks, the majority of them were purchased before I started my no buy. So this was my last ink purchase of 2023 and for the foreseeable future. <laughs> I think I got these like in early December 2023. And then I also did another ink swap with Gail of Gail's Bookish Things, who is so lovely. I will link her channel below. And um, she sent me a few inks and also a bottle that she didn't um, want anymore. So I'm super, super excited about all of these and I just wanted to share them with you. So cheers, I just made my coffee. So the first sample, the, the first inks I'll do is the last ink order I did, and then we'll end with the swap I did with Gail. So the first sample I got was Van Diemen's Feline Series Cheetah Chase. This is a shimmer ink. I am using my glass dip pen from Amazon. I will link that below. And Van D or not Van Diemen's, um, Van Ness, which is where I bought the inks and buy all my inks usually. They have a rewards program. So when you make purchases and when you leave reviews of what you have purchased and various other things like their newsletter, um, sharing on social media, you can earn points towards future purchases. So that's what I used for this order um, to make it a lot more inexpensive than it would have been. Um, so I'm thankful for their rewards program. Anyone can do it. It's not an affiliate program or anything like that. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is a really beautiful, let me zoom in. This is a really beautiful red leaning orange but definitely not orange color and it obviously has gorgeous shimmer like the Van Diemen's shimmer inks are always so gorgeous and well done and it's a really pretty color I like that a lot um okay next we will do another Van Diemen's from the feline series this is tortoise shell I really wanted mad half hour <laughs> That's what I was going for when I was trying to purchase these, but Mad Half Hour has been out of stock that I've seen for the last several months. Um, so I'm a little bummed because I didn't get that before my no buy, but looking at it, I think it might be similar to the Tranquility from the Diamond Ink Vent this year. So I'm trying to tell myself that so that I don't have too bad of FOMO. But I ended up getting these other ones from the Feline series, which I am excited to use. This one is a lot darker than I had anticipated it being. Um, it obviously has a deep purple base. But as you can see, it goes down, sorry about the focusing, it goes down um, quite black and then it has a sheen and shimmer so that when it's dry, you don't really get that purple color. It's an interesting one. It's not what I expected for sure. All right, next let's do another Van Diemen's, which is from their Wilderness series. This is Black Tongue Spider Orchid. This is their new formulation of this ink. I never tried the old formulation. It is, okay, why is my, <laughs> I don't know why my focus is doing that and I apologize because that's annoying. Um, this is just a regular ink no shimmer or sheen or anything like that. Um, but I think it's a beautiful color and I really have been wanting to try it for a long time. <laughs> Running out of room on my 
family circle. Okay. Next, we will look at Eroshizuku Ajisai. I had been sent a sample of this from Nicole, and I loved it so much that I wanted to get another sample. I really wanted to buy a bottle, but I bought quite a few bottles that day, and I just didn't want to go crazy buying like all the bottles in the world, but I think one day I will get a bottle of this, maybe. And I say maybe, not because I don't love it, but because it is very similar to Jacaranda from this year's ink vent. Very, very similar. Um, it's different enough in the swatch that you can tell they're different inks, but in a pen, I don't think you would be able to tell. Between those two, if I were to buy a bottle, I would buy Aroshizuku just because it's such a reliable brand, a wet writing ink. Like they're just good performing inks. And I think that the Jacaranda from the ink vent tended to be a little bit on the drier side. But I also think the Jacaranda is a lot more inexpensive when you buy a big bottle of the ink vent inks. All right, next let's do... I got two of the Diatramentus pearlescent inks. They're actually both the violet um, color as well, the base. Um, and the reason that I wanted to try these was because on my Dandelion Diaries channel, she does her um, ink comparisons, her ink explorations, I think is what she calls them. And she showed the Violet Copper, and I thought that that was so beautiful. Um, and I wanted to try that, but I also really like... Uh, gold shimmer in ink so I also got the violet bronze but of the two I do like violet copper better so she was right on that one <laughs> she said that's the most beautiful and I agree so there's this one and then here is violet copper they both seem to be wet inks um, I think Diatramentus in general seems to make wet inks, which I love. Next, let's do I got two samples of Blushing, Blushing Mushroom and Ferris Wheel Press Blue Barrel Tonic. They're both Ferris Wheel Press. Um, I guess we'll just swatch them again just for the fun of it, but I have purchased samples of these before. And I just wanted to get more of the ink without purchasing a bottle yet because um, I'm not completely sure if I want to buy bottles of both of these. So I'm going to play with it more. But I love both of these inks a lot. I think I do just have a little bit of buyer's remorse for some of the bottles I've gotten. Um, especially of the shimmer inks that I've gotten lately because I've gotten some that are very, very similar. Like I got Queen Allium of Ferris Wheel Press, which is a light purple with a pink shimmer. And then I got Dominant Industry Sunset, which is not identical, but super similar. And I just don't think I need a bunch of really similar shimmer inks um, in bottle form. So I got a little overzealous, I think, for a while there. So I'm trying to be more cautious and <laughs> do more research before I buy um, bottles, especially of specific colors like that that are similar to each other. Okay, next I got Eroshizuku Kujaku because after watching some videos, I thought that this was the teal ink that I wanted. But after trying the sample, this is much more blue than I thought it appeared on my screen. And this is not the teal ink <laughs> that I wanted, um, which was a bummer. But then Kin from ADH Done sent me a sample of CO Row 
Um, that sample had gold glitter in it, so that could have changed the color a little bit, but that CRO is a lot more like what I thought I was getting with Kujuku. I don't know how I got confused. I probably just picked the wrong color, honestly. Um, but yeah, so I wish I would have gotten CRO, but whenever I buy inks again, or maybe if I do a trade with someone at some point, they will have that ink, and um, then I can have a sample of that one because I really like that teal color. Next is Diamine. Uh, Ink Vent Green Edition, Serendipity. And this one is so beautiful when it's dry. So much more beautiful than I thought it would be. And I'm so happy that I took a chance and got this one. Another one I'm really, really happy with is Diamine Safari. This is from their 150th anniversary line. And oh my goodness, I've been on the fence about this one for many, many months. Um, I like it. I am intrigued by it. I want to buy it. And then I just get distracted by something else and I don't buy it. Um, <laughs> and... I'm so happy that I finally did because it is a gorgeous green color. It's a yellow leaning green, similar to, I think, um, Alt Gold Green, but darker. But in the pen, it actually comes out a lot lighter than this. And oh, it's just so beautiful. It's a standard ink. It performs well. It In the pen that I have it in, which is the only pen that I've tried it in so far, it does feel a tiny bit dry, but I think that that's probably more so the pen and not the ink, and I will have to just try it in another pen to confirm that, but if it is a little bit dry, that's totally fine. I will just put some white lightning in it, and I love it. I love it a lot. All right, this is Diatramentis Apricot. On the website, to me, it looked so much oranger than this. Um, definitely did not look this, like, bright yellow. And I know I'm not tripping on that one. This one was like, whoa, that's not the same color <laughs> that I saw online. Um, but that's fine. I like yellow inks. This is a very legible yellow ink, although it's not my favorite tone of yellow. But I think it could be good for combining, and it is a very wet ink, too, so I like that about it as well. I'm using that a little bit. All right, and then the last of the samples that I got for that with that order um, is Van Diemen's Birds of a Feather Kookaburra Crest. I was looking for a neutral light brown that was not too light. And um, I don't know, I was just intrigued by this one and I am not disappointed. This is such a gorgeous color. I thought that it was going to be similar to Monteverde Moonstone when I first bought it, but it is a lot more warm toned than Moonstone. And it's a really wet ink. It performs really well. So far I have it in the Twisby Diamond Medium Nib. Um, and it's funny because if you put it next to different inks, it looks like it's a different color. Like sometimes it looks decidedly brown, light brown, but sometimes it also looks gray. The first bottle was Diamine Shimmertastic Wine Divine. It is, it's in the family of like the Oxblood ink with shimmer to it, added to it. Um, this one I have right now in my Twisby Diamond Mini, and I had it previously in my um, Esterbrook SD, and now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like this ink is a little bit dry because in the SD I thought it was dry, 
but then I thought it was just the SD because I had just gotten it. I didn't know it very well yet. And I smeared it on the page. Um, but now that it's in the Twisby, which I know that pen very well, and it's a wet writing pen, this also does not flow very wet. Um, especially after writing with it for more than a few sentences. So that's fine. I'm going to add a bit of white lightning to the bottle and I'm sure that will fix it but I really love that color it's a lot like Bahumbug of the ink vent only it has gold shimmer and I just love that combo of that maroon color with gold shimmer love it love it love it love it okay the next bottle I got was Ferris Wheel Press Spadina Rose or Spadina Rose. This I had tried from a trade with Amy of Planning in PDX and fell in love with it. I just really adore this dusty antique rose color. And it seems to be a very wet ink. Um... I don't have, I have a lot of dusty pinks, but I don't have a dusty pink like this, which sounds funny. Spadina Rose. Just none of them are this tone, and I really, really love this tone. So I bought a bottle. Yeah. Um, Ferris Wheel Press um, Cloak and Forest. I love the base color that is a deep teal. And then it also has a gorgeous um, shimmer and sheen. And it's just one of my favorite inks this year. So, okay, next one is Vinta Night Sky. I talked about this in my currently inked video. And I think another video. I love this color so much. But <laughs> this ink just wants to clog up every pen. Like it does not play nice in my pens. Um, I already added white lightning to it. It still clogged up the pen after that. So I'm not really sure what to do other than to uh, just perhaps mix it with other inks to kind of cut whatever property it is that clogs the pens so badly. Um, but it really is gorgeous. The next one we'll do is journalize uh, the line is Starry Night, and the ink color is called Star Wave Meadow. You can see how beautiful and shimmery this is. I saw this on Charmaine Duloc's channel, and look at that. So pretty. Um, and I had already had like a really good experience with the Tinkerbell ink, and I just had to try it. Uh, this clogged my pen quite a bit at first too, so I added white lightning and ever since I added white lightning and I also opened up the tines on that pen because it was writing dry, um, which was my Twisby Iris. I did that on camera the other day and it worked so well and now this is writing perfectly. Like it writes so wet. Um, the shimmer is not a problem, so a combo of opening up the tines and the white lightning, I think, really just did the trick, and I'm so happy because this color is stunning, and I love it. I cannot recommend these journalized inks enough. I got another journalized ink. This one is called Alfaba, and this one I have had no issues with the shimmer or with clogging. This is the only one that's had clogging issues. The Tinkerbell also was fine, no clogging issues. So it's interesting how like between, you know, even within the same brand, like certain shimmer inks will be troublesome and certain shimmer inks will not. But this one I haven't had to add anything to. It's just really perfect and writes beautifully. And I love the color combination of the darker purple uh, base with the light teal shimmer. It's just so, 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 so pretty. Um, and, and then the last bottle I got was 
for including their Cassia also because of that video from my Dandelion Diaries. It just is a really pretty vibrant purple and I have not inked this one up yet but I'm happy to have it and I just love purple inks and I like this type of purple that's you know bright and vibrant. Um, and then I really like the Roar and Klingner brand. They're inexpensive. They seem to perform really, really well in terms of their flow and their lubrication. And yeah, so that was my last ink order. <laughs> and obviously I was in a very cool toned mood that day, but yeah, I'm happy with all of these, with the exception of not loving this one, which is fine. I'll figure out something to do with it, and not loving this one, also fine. But yeah, we'll look at these a little bit closer once everything's completely dry. And while those are drying, let's go to this side and we'll swatch the inks that Gail sent me in our trade. The first thing that she sent me was... Yay, Yamabuto. I'm so excited. Um, it's like more than halfway full. I'm beyond like touched by her generosity. Um, this is my first Uroshizuku bottle. I've never gotten one of the big bottles. I've only had samples, so that's really special. I'm so, so thankful that she sent this to me because now the more that I'm playing with it again, I'm just like in awe of how beautiful it is want to try it in so many different pens and I think this is a really good ink as well to use in pens that you're not sure about because it's a really wet ink so it's a good tester yeah I think this is my favorite of all the Aroshizuku line okay the next thing she sent was Colorverse 34 Opus 88 Tango. So this, I think, must have been a collaboration between Colorverse and Opus 88. It is a really um, deep orange. I like this color a lot. It reminds me of, like, cayenne powder, <laughs> kind of. And I think it's going to be really perfect for fall as well. And it feels really wet. Oh, you know what? I forgot one. I forgot one from my other order. I'll just swatch it on this page. But this was from that order, Tachiya Ume Murasaki. I was playing with this a couple nights ago. Here, I'll put it over here. Um, comparing it to some other inks. When it goes down, it looks brown and not a very enticing brown, but <laughs> it dries um, to like a muted pink, a deep muted pink. to Tachiya Cha Brown. The more Tachiya inks I try, the more I love this brand. I find all of their inks similar to KWZ to be so lubricated and just really pleasant to write with. Um, just not dry whatsoever. And I like this color. It's a red leaning brown, actually almost an orange leaning brown. And I wonder how it would compare to steeped umber. Okay, don't those three go together so beautifully? Um, okay, next is Birmingham Pen Company Burleywood. And I know Gail has been talking about playing with this and the other Birmingham Pen Company ink lately, and she's been loving them. And I can see why. This is a really pretty 
brown but like it has a green undertone like when you put the dip pen in the water to clean it there's like almost this fluorescent green that comes off of it which is so interesting um yeah i like it a lot and then the next one is birmingham pen company tailings pond um this is a much darker brown almost black when i swatched it yeah see that it's like so dark but as it dries it's a lighter it becomes more brown looking so and it's also it feels very wet I just love a deep rich saturated color <laughs> I just love them in fact I have some swatches played with the other night so whoa. so here is burly wood right here this is weeping willow from ink Fem. I put a little bit of white lightning in it and I was really surprised at how legible it is despite being so light as well anyways here's burly wood here is Tatcha Cha, and here is Tailings Pond. And here is that Tatcha Ume Murasaki and Spadina Rose. So, yeah, I was just comparing. I don't know, that purple was me trying out Alfaba in the Caveco nib, which it flowed very well, but then I just started swatching brown, so <laughs> it doesn't really fit, but yeah these three are just gorgeous just all different tones of brown but you can see how the tailing pond um, looks a lot more brown once it's dry two are both colorverse inks these ones definitely tend toward the um, more desaturated and light side um, this green color actually reminds me of Wearing Gold's Secret Garden, but Secret Garden has shimmer in it. I think by itself it will be too dry or light for me, but I also can see like mixing it with other inks very easily. Like I think it would be great for mixing. It's a pretty green. It reminds me of springtime and like the new flowers and new grass. And then Color Verse Show Me is the last one. This one, I really like the tone of the blue. It's a very pretty dusty blue. Kind of reminds me of Storied Blue from Ferris Wheel Press, but maybe a little bit more on the gray side. It reminds me of like a rain cloud. This one also is very light and I think will be a little bit dry, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to play with this one because I do, I like this blue color a lot. When you put down more ink, it's definitely a lot more legible, so maybe it just needs to be in a very wet nib. So many thanks to Gail for sending me these and um, she also, sent me a coaster which is over on my desk for my coffee that is so precious and cute I posted it on my um, Instagram and I just was so touched by that I love like those homemade personal touches I think that's so special but yeah let's go through these so here they all are you can see the copper versus the bronze violet I just love the the pinky gold copper shimmer much more than the bronze shimmer and divine so pretty look at serendipity it has a teal base but it has so much sheen and shimmer that when you're looking at it all you really see is the sheen like the maroon sheen 
and the gold shimmer. It's really pretty. I can't wait to get that in a pen. And we can see the Elfaba and the Starway Meadow, just how gorgeous they are. I just love the mixture of these two colors in here. So, so gorgeous. In person, it's way more beautiful. And then you have the night sky, which is that deep blue with that pink shimmer. It's very pretty. And then cloak and forest. I'm trying to find the best way to show it, like natural light or artificial light. Artificial light's always better for showing shimmer. And then we have the cassia, which has some cool shading and a little bit of sheen on the edges of it. And then in the writing, it's just this beautiful, bright, happy purple. And then over here, we can see the Yamabuto is starting to sheen out, but it only does that in the swatches. In the writing, it doesn't really show that sheen, which is totally fine by me. I love the base color of Yamabuto. And these ones are obviously not very dry yet, but you can kind of see in the writing here how it's starting to look more brown but it's definitely a black brown, especially on this paper. It's looking darker than it did on the um, Leuch term paper. The Burley Wood is a gorgeous, like lighter brown. I love that brown color. And then I love the Tatia Cha as well. I love the Tango. I mean, they're all beautiful. So that is it. My last purchase ink haul for the foreseeable future and hopefully not the last trade. <laughs> I love trading and um, love getting to try out new inks that way. I think I'm kind of hoping to do maybe like one or two trades a month, maybe one a month, um, just to kind of like be able to try new inks monthly. Um, so yeah, anyways. Look at that spinning rose shading too. So pretty. So that is it. Tell me what your favorite color is. Have you tried any of these? Do you want to try any of these? Um, ooh, look at those shimmers. So, so pretty. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye guys.